drop it. So let's now proceed with our last two examples under the basic C++ module. For today, I'm going to discuss to you how to swap two numbers using three variables and then how to swap two numbers without the third variable. Okay, so let's now go to our browser and then let's zoom in. So this is our code for the, that example. So the program demonstrates how to swap two numbers using three variables. So here we have our variable declaration. We have three variables, NO1, NO2, and then temp. This one here allows the user to input two numbers using Cout. So this one here prompts the user to input two numbers. And then this section here allows us to input the numbers to be stored in number one and number two. This section here displays the original value of num1 and then displays the original value of num2. After we have displayed the value, then let's do some operation here. This section is known to be an assignment. What we're doing is that we are somehow assigning the values to, uh, to the variables here. Take note that we have inputted the value of NO1. What we're doing is that we're assigning the value of NO1 to temp. This one here, NO2 to NO1, what it does, it overrides the value. Since we have the value of, let's say, NO2 as, let's say, 1, then we're going to transfer it here. And then the other one is that we're going to transfer the value of temp to NO2. Then this line here displays the swap value already. This is a escape key character. So what does it provides us with new lines? So two uh, backslash n means that there will be two new lines to be uh, displayed. So this line displayed the swap value for number one, and this one here displayed the value or swap value for number two. So let's run our code. Okay. So let's try to show it here. Okay, now we're here. So currently the user is being prompted to enter two numbers. So let's say 10 for the first number and then 20 for the second number. So here's the output. First is it shows the original value of number one, which is 10, and then the number two, which is 20. Then using this assignment operation, what it does is we just assign the values from number 1 to temp, number 2 to number 1, and then temp to number 2. So what we have here is that swap value of number 1 is now 20, and the swap value of number 2 is now 10. Okay, so that's the answer. Let's now proceed with that second example. Okay, let me open up our program here let's copy the code so demonstrate now with this program what we're going to do is that we are going to have two variables only instead of three this one is a little bit easy because what we did is just to assign the values to from let's say from number one to temp and then from temp to number two we just swap it for the third example we're going to have this. So instead of three variables, we're going to have here two. So the logic behind is that, so we're going to declare two variables, let's say A and then B. So enter, uh, we're going to print out and input values here. And then this section allows us to print the original value before we swap it. To do that, we'll just perform this basic operation. We're in A is equals to A plus B and then b is equals to a minus b, and then a is equals to a minus b. So with this operation here, what it does, it, it somehow uh, transfers the data. We're able to solve the addition first and then be able to uh, subtract it and then store it to b, and then we again solve this one using these values here and then pass it to a, and then 
the output will be the swap values already. So if we run the code, okay, let's zoom it here, zoom in here, okay. So right now we're being prompted to enter two numbers, let's say 40 and then 20, okay. The original value of A is 40 and then B is 20, as you can see here. And then the swap value using this particular operation is now 20 and then 40. Okay, so that is our swapping of two numbers with two variables. So that covers our first set of problems for basic of C++. So take note, all the items are posted into our Git. You could refer to that. And then I'll see you in our next examples. Please don't forget to like and then subscribe to this channel. Okay, thank you. Bye.